Evolution of Dialogues. In the beginning there was SDI, a single dialogue interface. So here we have an input that is active and I can select from one of these tables. If I want to go into this display array I have to click the button. I can then do the actions required to move stuff to this array. If I want to get into this array I have to press this button to leave this one and go into here. I can then do that. If I want to add another table, I have to come out of this array and go to here and select my other table. And then of course I have to click here and then I can actually move stuff across and click here, etc. Singular dialogue. With Genero 2.10 we introduced multiple dialogues. So we now have the ability to click on an array and it will be active. So as you can see, as any Windows user would expect, I can click on any of the available actions at any time without having to switch context. In 2.20 we improved upon that by allowing multi-row selection. So there's still multiple dialog, but now we can use shortcut keys such as Control A and we can do multi-row select. In 2.30 we introduced drag and drop. So we now have the ability to do what you would always expect to do on a Windows piece of code and drag and drop fields from one place to another. In the code for this we start with our user interface code which is basically a while loop and a case statement with an input statement inside the when and a display array there and another display array there. The issue here being that you also have to update the screen for when you move something from one array to another array. This is handled by these functions here. You'll notice there's a lot of duplicated code with these actions such as finish and next being in every or each of the dialogues. For multi-dialog we have considerably less code. We have common actions at the end here. We have our display arrays and our input. The input is unbuffered any changes to the data is reflected instantly on screen so the extra functions are not required. The actions that are inside the display array are only available inside the display array at runtime. So when I execute the code I go into this array we see these are actions are alive, these ones are ghosted. As I switch I can now see that these actions are alive and these ones are ghosted. In multi-row select we have a couple of extra lines to enable multi-row selection and the business logic changes subtly to allow for multiple selected rows. So we've gone from 54 lines of code to basically 20 odd lines of code and a lot more functionality. Finally for drag and drop we have these new triggers. These are to handle an item being dragged from or attempted to be dropped into the dialog. When an item is entered, as in you drag something into over the array, we can call a function to validate whether what, what is being dragged there is allowed to be dropped at that point. And then we can set on-screen feedback or deny drop accordingly. So our end function is still 12 lines less than our original singular dialog code. And we have remained true to 4GL and simple language.